The homeless crisis in California, as you've seen these images, seems to be growing worse by the day. And our next guest blames the state's push to go softer on crime. He argues that softer penalties for drug use could lead users from addiction to homelessness. Curtis Hill is the attorney general of the great state of Indiana, and he joins us right now from Indianapolis to tell us more. Good morning to you, General Hill. Good morning, Steve. Okay, you say that uh, a, a lot of what we are seeing on the streets of California, in particular uh, Los Angeles and San Francisco, started when they passed five years ago Proposition 47. What was Proposition 47 supposed to do? Well, Proposition 47 in California was intended to uh, reduce criminal behavior, criminal conduct, or, or reduce penalties for particular conduct that was described as uh, uh, not important, non-serious, non-threatening. And the result was supposed to be uh, more compassion for those who commit so-called nonviolent offenses. Uh, the unintended consequence is it became an invitation for those who engage in illegal drug use or uh, minor offenses because the penalties were uh, just not there. And as a result, you see people who now uh, have no place to go, and it's drawing in the homeless uh, groups that are creating unsanitary conditions mm -hmm. and threatening behavior uh, and really intolerable conditions for cities all over, all over America. So they were trying to be compassionate. Uh, where they go a little softer on crime, you write, but that has had a terrible effect. Well, in San Francisco, some reports indicate that homelessness has increased by 17 to 30 percent in the last two years. Uh, that's an incredible burden to place on a community. Uh, in cities like San Francisco, Los Angeles, or even Washington, D.C., where I was, uh, I was there last week and on my way to dinner, um, I witnessed some individuals shooting up on the sidewalk uh, oh. in plain sight. Uh, that is no way to, uh, to to have a city where we want families and businesses to, uh, to uh, flourish. Sure. And I know that as attorney general there in Indiana, you've worked on all sorts of programs. I was reading this morning about one where you champion drug addiction treatment programs in jail. Uh, do, do they have that kind of outreach in California? Well, I, I'm, it's unclear to me. Here in Indiana, we've certainly taken the position that when they're incarcerated, we have an opportunity to provide them with services, uh, services that deal with mental illness, with uh, drug and alcohol treatment. And one of the things that we need to be doing all over the country is providing employers with incentives to provide second chance opportunities for those who have been incarcerated. Uh, I don't want to say that incarceration is the answer, but certainly if we hold people accountable, we can use that time to do what we can to provide education opportunities, work training, and incentives to make sure that people don't come back into the system. And for heaven's sake, making sure that they're not that they are protected from being uh, homeless and destitute in the streets. Right. Uh, in your FoxNews.com op-ed, you uh, you quote then-governor of California, Ronald Reagan, back in 68, he said, we must reject the idea that every time a law is broken, society is guilty rather than the lawbreaker. It is time to restore the American precept that each individual is accountable for his action. Uh, well put. You know, that's one of my... That's one of my favorite quotes uh, of all time because it really speaks to the heart of the issue of what, it's, what it means to be an American. Accountability for your conduct. Right. Um, but it also uh, recognizes that, that we all have an interest in uh, creating second chance opportunities for those who do fail. Mm -hmm. General Hill, uh, how can California turn this around? Because it, it seems to be at a tipping point almost. Well, they need to be recognizing what, what's going on. Uh, the, uh, we all need to look at in, uh, improving our justice system, but simply reducing sentences, cutting sentences, uh, pretending that criminal conduct isn't occurring or watching criminal conduct occur, but changing the definition so that we no longer think it's criminal conduct or counting it as a score, uh, that doesn't work. We need to make sure that we hold people accountable for uh, smaller offenses. Look at New York City in the 1990s under right. then Mayor Giuliani and the broken windows theory. The concept of focusing on the little things to prevent the big things from occurring. It was very successful in the 90s for New York City, and that can be very successful for San Francisco and other cities today. They just have to take the initiative. All right, uh, Curtis Hill, the Attorney General for the great state of Indiana. Sir, thank you very much for sharing your op-ed, you, which is on foxnews.com. Thank you, sir.